Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We are on day two of October. And I've been able to tell it's October because it got noticeably colder just as soon as October came into being. First day, first time I saw frost on the ground, hence the hoodie. Luckily in my workspace, I got me a heater. Right here, just boom. You know, and and the wood's been crazy to say. <laughs> All right, I mean, not like you guys know what it's like, but like it's been crazy, man. So many, so many big, big rocks and bogs and stuff for me to get out of there. The big logs and wood become mulch. The bark separates out and gets used and sold as as different sizes of bark. You know, we're making cool stuff here. I like it. And all the rocks that we get, that I get, they uh, they eventually get taken over to this giant rock wall we have in the back. I like it. I like, I don't know. It's like, I'm like, every rock I'm getting, I'm, I'm helping build the giant rock wall. I hope hundreds of years in the future that, you know, people find the rock wall and they're like, why is this mysterious rock wall here? I mean, it's happened at other places in America, you know, they, they find these old mysterious rock walls and they're like, but what the hell? What is this for? Who made these? Aliens? You know? And, uh, and, and, and it would just be like, no man, like, like it was, a, it was a, it was a landscaping products company back in the early 21st century, <laughs> you know, there, there was also all sorts of rocks in with the with the wood and bark that came. Speaking of which, new shipment right now coming in. Right, see there. Yeah, hey there, they're gonna go dump that. There's a big cool thing in the back by where I work. The, the semis go on to this big platform. It's really cool. And like, uh, and then there's these big hydraulic, there's this big hydraulic, um, they, what would that be called? Uh, there's this platform, semi goes on it, okay? Underneath it, there's this big hydraulic rod that goes up, tips it up, dumps everything out. It's a sight to behold, I'm telling you. It's cool. It's way cool. I like it. Plus. I think, you know, where I work is also very nice. Just, it's a nice, and, and the people are, that's the best part. The people I work with are the coolest. They're the best. My boss, Kevin, he's the best boss I ever had, by far. He is, he, he is just, he's like, more like a coach who uh, cares about all his players, all his workers, man. A lot. And, uh, just working, working for a boss like that, that makes all the difference. The, to know that, that your boss actually cares. Uh, nothing like that. I wanted to tell you guys a story from my past. So I'm going to call this vlog Stories from My Past. Because I want to eventually, you know, you know over time, just Share some stories from my past, let me know. You know, some tidbits. Uh, okay, it was the year 2003. I was uh, 18, it was about April, spring break. Okay, and uh, for spring break, me and all my best friends, uh, we went out to uh, my friend Wyatt's house for the night out in the country place called Archer uh, and we set up in the woods out in his uh, land the uh, a big game of uh, capture the flag and uh, you know we went hard at it late into the night uh, and then you know eventually my game was over and uh, but we, we were like that you know we were still charged up you know it's like 20 of us, a lot of us just 
big guys from the football team. All of us, all of us, were at, all of us were at this. My best friends. Uh, and we were all in camouflage. Because, you know, playing capture the flag at night. Duh. And uh, in the woods. Army camouflage, though. Not that hunter camouflage. And, uh, okay, so I don't know if that's important. But we're like, well, let's go into town. You know? Raising a little tiny bit of havoc. Just a little. Nothing crazy. And nothing vandalous at all. No, no, no. We just wanted to fuck with an underclassman first. A guy named Vince Haley. Haley, Vince Haley. Hey, Vince, if you're watching. First thing we did, we get to his house and we're like, well, let's... <laughs> let's let the air out of his tires. <laughs> so they did. I'm like, okay, I don't know. You know, guys... Vince ain't so bad. Why let the air out of his tires? We're, they're like, we're not slashing him. And they're like, Josh, take a shit <laughs> in his front seat. And I'm like, dude, fuck no. How about not? Okay, you know? I, just, I can't do that. Are you kidding me? And they're like, all right, pussy, whatever. And I'm like, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm like, all right, let's go. There's 18 of us at that point, right? On four SUVs. We drive up to the dry farms, okay? West, southwest of where I am right now, okay? Up there. In, uh, in Rexburg, there's a place called the Rexburg Bench, okay? There's a lower level valley, okay? And then you go up, and it gets flat again, and that's the Rexburg Bench. And they do all the potato and barley farming up there for the, the barleys for the, you know, Bud Light and the beer and stuff. And the potatoes are for, you know... Everything, potatoes, fries, everything, chips, vodka, okay? A lot of farming up there, but we're like, we know, we know. Like, well, let's, let's go up there and find somebody. There's a college here. <laughs> we were seniors, okay? And, uh, all right, let's find somebody parked. We find somebody parked in, uh, you know, the dirt parking lot of a potato warehouse shed. You know, if you know they look like the long, white, dome. Probably don't, unless you're from here. Look it up, people. I don't care. But, like, I'm trying to paint a picture here. <laughs> oh, shit. This is only a year and a half after 9-11. Uh, so, we, cut, we see a, a car, and we're like, fuck yeah. And we, psh, we block it in on all four sides. Boom, 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 boom. We're like, we have no intention of doing any harm here. But we do want to scare the shit out of somebody. And then we all 18 of us get out. <laughs> in in army camouflage. All big athletes, mostly football players. Like one, like only one of our friends, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. He was a basketball star. Didn't come out for football. Wish you would have. Uh... And, and uh, all my other friends through there, you know, like, oh, we all we'll never forget. And uh, so we surround, I have headphones, damn it. I hope I didn't step on them. Okay, time in. So, 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 we try and start shaking the car. <laughs> oh, man. They freak out, try and take off clip like the the back end of one of my friend's trucks and uh rest of us head back to why it's house an archer but lo and behold one of the trucks the one that got clipped <laughs> takes off on a high speed chase after them through town seven miles an hour gets back to their apartment building we all find out about this later all of us out in uh <laughs> the country because uh, my friend Wyatt's dad comes out and he's like, it's like five in the morning at that point. He's like, what have you guys been up to? Like, Nothing. Why do you ask? <laughs> because I just got a call from the sheriff's department. <laughs> it's like, we're like, wait, 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 what? 
what, 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 why? It's like, uh, well, you know, you guys tell me. I'm like, okay, shoot, it's time. Turns out the one truck follows them. They go through town, they pull into the parking lot of the apartment complex of these. One of them's a college kid from out of town, a guy, and the other we find out is this girl we know from the year above us named Jody. Jody Dexter. Maiden name. She won't care. She probably doesn't watch this anyway. <laughs> they get into a screaming match. <laughs> <laughs> the cops get called. All of us have to go in and make a statement. But everybody, you know, also figures out that we're just a bunch of uh, fucking idiots. <laughs> you know, sheriff ends up telling us, Sheriff Archibald, great guy. He's like, man, if that had been me and my wife out there, he, you know, we're all the boys, man. We're, we're the boys on the football team and baseball team. They're not going to. You know, if they would have, like, gone crazy on this, they would have just destroyed <laughs> They would have had to suspend the whole baseball team. Shit. We would have had no baseball season that year. They just were like, what? All you need to pay $50 for the damage on the guy's car. I'm like, and I think it was Clayton. He's like, the damage on that car? It come to the back of my truck. That's why we chased him. <laughs> He's like, well, you got him all panicked up, man. I'd have shot you if it was me and my wife making out. I always have a gun. And we're like, we're like, do you ever, you ever make out with your wife up there? And he's like, well, who knows? Like, it might happen. Like, okay, we'll keep that in mind. He's like, you know, 9/11 just happened. Might have thought you was a bunch of terrorists. <laughs> so we got a talking to. We had to make a statement at the police office at six in the morning that night, a day and. Uh, <laughs> pay 50 bucks each to fix the guy's car but it was awesome and I would never take it back ever <laughs>